Today we're going to be looking at the gorgeous boxer who is renowned for being playful and friendly and seeing if they have a wild side. We're going to talk about whether they have a high prey drive and see what you can do to help control any issues that might pop up. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. If you're new here, my name's Charlotte and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about boxers. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. Boxers look extremely competent and ready to hold their own. Their name itself gives an impression of strength and stability. That name comes from the point of their origin, as they were bred to fight in the time of bull baiting, before it was banned in the late 1800s. As well as being named after their role within the ring, they were also named in reference to their powerful gait and ability to stand on their back legs and punch their front. So, although a lot of work within their breed since this point has been done to tame them and focus on their work elsewhere, they do have a high prey drive and the power and instincts will always be there. It is reasonably rare for boxers to tap into this psych of fighting. They will more commonly find the fun and be ready to please everyone. But that's when socialization and training are taken with the seriousness that they require. If your boxer isn't used to meeting others and experiencing new sights and sounds from a young age, they may become overwhelmed when they do get out and about. Training will help them to understand how to greet others and understand the meaning of no and down. Although a boxer can become stubborn or headstrong when training, they are people pleasers. Make sure you set the boundaries of what they can and can't do with a kind consistency and they will want to follow your lead. If your boxer is raised with other dogs, they aren't likely to feel threatened or become too aggressive. They have a strong pack mentality and so having other dogs in their group can help them feel part of the team. If your other dog or dogs are smaller, the issue may be more on their side. Smaller dogs can feel the need to prove themselves when being around bigger breeds so they can become a bit of a pain. But if they're all suitably trained and given the time to realise nobody is going anywhere, it should all settle down and they'll be as thick as thieves. This can be the same when meeting other dogs in the park, once they're used to taking everything in and when they're out and about, but do make sure they remain on their lead as much as possible. Boxers will most likely be one, if not the biggest dogs in the park, and although they won't necessarily start a fight, they will most likely finish them, even if it's an accident. Even play can get painful if the other dog is out of proportion to your 60 centimeter tall boxer. Also, boxers play in a very individual way. The way a boxer shows affection or excitement is by lifting up their front legs to greet others like a human hug. This can trample or hurt other pups and people, so it can be quite distressing. So do make sure you're on hand to give firm instruction or veer them away. Another reason why it's important to keep them on their lead is, of course, in case of any temptation to dash off after any wild animal who catches their eye. A boxer's prey drive will more than likely come through if there are cats or other smaller animals animals around. If you're out for a walk and they spot something, it can be very tricky to get them back until they feel their operation has been a success. This chase will most likely be in a fun-loving way rather than an aggressive one, but it may end up with the same results of a seriously injured or mangled. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free principles to the perfect puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there again. There'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Hopefully the correct attention to training will have positive results and so your boxer will know when to leave it and welcome your distraction of a different game. This training will also help if you have a cat at home that they will need to live alongside. They will be able to get used to them without giving in to temptation enough not to bother them all day and night. Although it may take a while to get to this point and so a lot of supervision will be needed. Hopefully if your boxer has enough exercise and work to do throughout the day out of the house, when they are home they will be more likely to be calm and relaxed. And so it may be that the boxer has a high prey drive, it most likely won't be as high as you may expect when first looking at the imposing and toned stature of the breed. 
As is so often the answer, focus on early training and positive reinforcement of good behaviour will make the world of difference in their reaction to new animals and situations in day-to-day life. This is why they are such a good breed to have in a busy household. They can settle well with people of any age who will give them the love and attention they so crave. A well-rounded boxer is protective and loving with a huge heart for anyone who wants to play with them. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated boxer videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boxer Show.